In this video, we walk through how to partition a solid state drive. Stick around. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be walking through the process on how to partition a storage drive. Now, traditionally in the past, in order to gain some performance, if you had a larger hard drive, you could split it up into smaller partitions or chunks in order to gain a better read-write access to those files. Now today we are going to be partitioning a solid state drive and despite what you may have read, this will have zero impact, positive or negative, on the solid state drive's performance and is just merely from a organizational standpoint. Also, if you are new to this channel, welcome. I am Aaron and this is Help Cloud. We do videos like unboxings and reviews, videos just like this one. So if that is any of interest to you, consider subscribing. To get started, you're gonna to wanna to bring up the disk management utility here. You can access this by right clicking on your start menu and then left clicking on disk management or you can just start typing disk management within the start menu. Then you'll click on create and format hard disk partitions. That's, that'll bring up this utility here. Now this is going to detect and show you all of the drives and their partitions that are currently detected with the machine. So I've got five different disks broken up into various partitions. And you'll see that these where it says these disks where it says like games, behind the frame media, my book, they all correlate to drives that can be accessed within the file explorer because there's a file system that it can read and start storing files on. You'll notice on disk two, since there is no name, there's no drive letter, there's no file system, it does not show up under the device and drives because there's nothing to store on it. There's no, there's no file system in order to store those files. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using disk two in today's demo. We're gonna right click on it. This is one 500 gig physical solid state drive. We're gonna break it up into two virtual partitions. So to do that, you'll right click on it and you're gonna to want to click on a new simple volume. Now, before you do that, kind of backtrack a little bit here is you're gonna to wanna to determine which drive it is that you're gonna to want to format or which drive it is that you're gonna to want to uh, partition off. You do need to have unallocated space in order to create a new partition. So again, right click on it. We're gonna click on new simple volume. You may have some options that says new span, new stripe, new mirror. We are not going to be covering those in this video. Those are more advanced, uh, more for like redundancy or more for speed. Majority of the users that are creating partitions are just gonna need a simple volume. So we'll click on new simple volume, click on next, and it's gonna ask us to specify a size that we want this partition to be. This is in megabytes, which is why you see numbers by the thousands and not the hundreds, is because 1,024 megabytes equals one gigabyte. So you're gonna to wanna to do a little bit of math, find out how big of a space that you want this partition to be. This is a 500 gig drive. We're basically just gonna cut this down the center. We'll say 250,000. It can be anywhere between eight megabytes and the total size of the drive. So you've gotta put a number in there that's between these two parameters here. Click on next. It's gonna ask us to assign a drive letter. This is going to be in alphabetical order. It's gonna automatically choose which drive letter is next. In this case, since I have all these other drive, the letter H, well, I guess to be fair, A and B are there too, but H is the next letter in alphabetical order. And so we're just gonna go ahead and choose H for today's video. If you're somebody that's like me and you want to be a little bit more refined in your drive letters, you may wanna choose a drive letter that's currently in use. If that is the case, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to go into that drive, change it to a different letter in order to use the old letter with the new partition, if that makes sense. So again, today's simplicity, we're just gonna choose the letter H. Also, the problem with changing drive letters is if you have file systems or systems that are using files on that drive, whenever you change that letter, you may have to update those systems to reflect that new drive letter change. So again, letter H, we're gonna choose next. We're gonna choose format this volume with the following settings. This is where we're gonna choose a file system. We're gonna give it a name. NTFS, you have the option to either choose NTFS, XFAT, or maybe even FAT32 is in that list. If you're unfamiliar with file systems, here's a video in the top right-hand corner that goes a little bit more in depth on the pros and cons and what you would use those file systems for. But because we're working within Windows, majority of you guys are just gonna to wanna to choose NTFS and then we're gonna give it a new uh, name. We'll just do part one. And as far as allocation unit size, we'll just leave that to default. 
Perform a quick format. You can leave that checked. Don't worry about checking this. We'll click next again. It's gonna give you a summary of all of the settings that we're going to be changing and then you'll want to left click on finish. Now you'll notice part one, letter H, is now here with 244 gigs. And if we go to our Explorer window, you can see that part one is now showing up under this PC because it has a file system that you can use to start store, uh, reading and writing files from or storing uh, files on that. So going back to the disk management, let's create a secondary partition uh, on this drive. So we're gonna again, right click on it, do new simple volume. We've got 221 gigs that we can work with. You're gonna want to click next, same wizard, choose the size of the drive that you want it to be. Again, if you want a third partition, you're gonna to want to shrink this number to whatever you want the second partition to be. And then, uh, but for today, we're just gonna choose the rest of the drive. We'll click on next. Again, next one is I, next, same process, NTFS, default, we'll do part two and then click on next. And once again, we'll click finish. So now we've taken a single 500 gig solid state drive and broken it into two virtual partitions or two regions that work independently of each other. And if we open up that Explorer window again, you can see we've got part one in here and we've got part two. Now, the benefit of this is if you want to uh, dual boot like operating systems, if you want like Windows on one and Linux on the other, you can have Windows installed on part one, but if you want to mess around with Linux distros on part two, you can change those and remove those, format those, delete those, whatever, independently, and still not have part one affected. The downfall is it is a physical drive. If you have anything that goes physically wrong with that one drive, both of those partitions are shot. The data on them is typically shot, and you'll have to replace the drive and set up some new partitions. So there's kind of some pros and cons to each one of them, but that is how you go through and partition a single drive into multiple partitions. Now, the next thing is, is if you no longer need a partition, you can right click on that specific partition that you wanna get rid of. Of course, make sure that you've got any data that was on it if you wanna save it backed up somewhere safe, but then you can come on down and left click on delete volume. It's gonna say deleting this volume will erase all data on it. You wanna back it up. Do you wanna continue? We'll click yes. And that's gonna delete that partition and give you whatever space was set as unallocated that you can use to extend your primary partition or create a new partition if you wanted to. That is all there is to it. If you want to learn a little bit more about drive partitioning, I will leave a few links down in the video description that kind of cover some of the things that we did not in this video. But overall, for the average user, you're probably not gonna have to worry about drive partitioning. But if you're like me and you want to either run a dual operating system or you just wanna keep your files even more organized, partitioning might be your answer. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. And if you wanna support the channel in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We've got some sweet merch over there from pens, stickers, hoodies, zip up hoodies, you name it, it's over there. Go check it out. Anyways, guys, thanks for what you do and we will see you on the next one. Peace.